Hey, phone sites users, I want to walk you through uh, a new change to the settings tab for your phone site sites. So now if you want, you can adjust the, the column width of your sites. So you're probably used to seeing your sites looking like this, where you've got maybe like a box here in the middle, this, this uh, main column here um, with your field options and buttons and all that good stuff in your headline. Um, you've probably seen recently that we've added in navigation capabilities where you can put like a navigation bar at the top. But if you'd like to have um, this main column here span the width of your page, you've got that option. You can also move this up so that there's no spacing uh, at the top like you see right here. So let's go ahead and do that really quickly. I'm going to go back over to phone sites here, and I'm under the settings tab. You're going to see this new option under here um, under the main options section called main column. So that's where we're going to make that adjustment. Now also in the main column, you're going to see this color swatch right here. This color swatch used to be right up here in between this color swatch to the left, which uh, this color swatch that exists right here. This is kind of like uh, the coloring that would show up over the background. So like I have a, a white filter, a semi-transparent white filter uh, right over this picture of this lady screaming in her car. Um, so you got that color swatch there. This color swatch here pertains to that middle column. And then, of course, this link up here, that would have been where I added in the background image. But for adjusting the width of this main column, we're going to go over here. So right now, it's going to default to, as you can see, default. You've got three other options. You've got default width, no padding, full screen, padded, full screen, no padding. So let's just go through what each one of these. Let's go to uh, default width, no padding real quick. Uh, let's just save this. We'll go back over here and refresh this page. And you can see that just shifts the column up to the top. And then, of course, this column would uh, go further down the page if I added more stuff, like a bunch of text or a bunch of more fields and so forth. It's going to end right here because this is all that I have on this page. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back over here, and let's change this to the next option, full screen, padded. And we'll hit save and refresh this. And so as you can see here, you got a little bit of padding in here. So that's what padding means. It's just some extra space in between the, um, the far left or the far right or far top uh, border in my browser versus where that column starts. So if you want a little bit of padding in here, you'll use that full width padding. Uh, if you don't want any padding, then you'll select the last option. So let's go ahead and select that. So full screen, no padding. Let's hit save. Let's refresh this real quick. And then now, um, the next step, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and add in that navigation bar. And as you can see, this is starting to look more like a traditional uh, website as opposed to like a landing page. So if you're creating websites for businesses that need them, maybe they don't have one, um, and you already set them up with a landing page, but now you want to set them up with a main website. Well, now you can just piece this functionality here, the main column functionality, with that new navigation option that you see on the design tab. So if we go in here and go to add navigation, we can add the link in here. We can call this uh, home and add link, change this to like about, and we'll put another one here and put that as like contact, right? And then this option over here, this is where you would add in the, the link to one of these other options like HTTPS, and then one portal beta tester.com forward slash like, you know, if this was like home or something like that, that's actually a bad example. I would actually put this boom, right there. And this would just be like this URL here, which is the main site for this particular demo site that we're going through right here. And this would be probably about. I don't actually have these pages set up for the about or the contact, but you get the point here. All right, hit save. And then we can change the color of that. Let's change the background color real quick. Change that to like this weird blue purple color. Leave the font white. That's fine. Hit save. Let's go back here and refresh this real quick. So there you go. And then you can add in a logo too. Uh, let's pick a logo real quick. Sure, we'll use, let's see, use that. Let's go back. We'll use this in here. Hit save. And there we go. So and I can make that logo a little bit bigger. Medium. Okay, guys. Have fun. If you have any questions, let us know.